I've been fighting with my dinghy engine all fucking day, and I'm losing. Dinghy engine doesn't work, and there's nothing I seem to be able to do to fix it. I've been working all day on it. I don't understand it. I don't know what's wrong. I don't know what to do to fix it. I am really frustrated. Like, I'm ready to cry. We have now lost our dinghy engine, and there just doesn't seem to be anything I can do to make it better. We just don't understand this stuff. Like, I, I, I've done everything, and it just isn't working. I don't know why, so I don't know how to fix it or make it better. I am so frustrated, I definitely want to scream. I mean, maybe I can get video footage to show you later. I've proved the fuel flow from the tank, fixed all the lines, made sure I have good fuel flow to the bowl. To the when I open the bowl um, switch, the bowl appropriately fills. I've changed the float with the carburetor rebuild kit. I changed the pin. I've adjusted and cleaned the Venturi pin inside there. And I've adjusted it up and down and left and right and everything imaginable and nothing seems to work. Basically, the engine was only running with the, with the choke most of the way closed and partially open. It was running just fine. And then when we were halfway home off the last adventure back to the boat, it just wanted to die. And I found that playing the choke, as has happened before, has been enough to kind of save it till we got home. So it only runs with the choke mostly closed. With that mostly closed. It basically only runs like that, and I don't know why. So last time when I had this problem a month ago, we adjusted the Venturi pan tube in the bowl to go up a little bit, and then it ran for another month. We're having the same problem again. I've cleaned and changed everything, and nothing seems to work. I am one highly frustrated and depressed girl. I truly want to cry. Losing my dinghy engine is going to suck. Of course, I can't afford to buy a new one. Rowing everywhere that we need to go isn't going to be very pleasant because mostly dinghies are very hard to row, especially against winds. I'm in trouble on this one. And two stroke engines are supposed to be simple. Good captains never quit. I am not an engine mechanic and I don't understand this stuff, but I can learn. I've been researching on YouTube and the internet trying to find useful information. Just can't figure out where to set that stupid Venturi pin though, but I'm not going to give up. I don't know if you guys can tell in the background, but the sun is setting and we started repairing the dinghy engine at like 9 o'clock in the morning. We have been at this all day. It is not logical. It does not make sense. This is the carb bowl. This is the float. This is the Venturi pin. We replaced with a carb kit, put in a brand new float and a brand new pin needle valve. Brand new. And it doesn't allow any flow, fuel to flow through whatsoever. So we changed the fuel line, proved the system, proved it to the valve, proved it to here, proved it up, proved around, proved it to the pin. We can get fuel to flow with no mean needle stopper pin on the new one but then when we put the new carb bowl kit in it allows zero fuel into the bowl so then we roll back to the old crappy it doesn't make any sense but we roll back to the old crappy float and pin which does let fuel in the only difference is like new pin old pin new just the old one lets fuel in but overfills the bowl because it wasn't set right and it was overfilling but we still can't get any spark or get it to start We've got brand new spark plugs on it. We've verified the spark. I've verified compression. I've verified fuel to the bowl. we verified we've taken the carb apart. We've done literally everything. It's a simple engine. Everything is in working order and should work. It just doesn't work. That makes me want to scream.
Lexi and her brain. Lexi and her brain, 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 brain. Lexi and her brain. Yeah, Lexi and her brain. Yeah, Lexi and her brain. Ninety seconds later, not even one lap around the boat, and she just starves herself out and dies, and get her to restart again. But she only runs 20 to 40 seconds at a time, and then dies out, starves herself of fuel again. The life of me, I can't fucking figure out why. Well, fuck. All day working on that stupid engine, learning lots about carburetors and venturi tubes and choke valves and all kinds of stuff. It was quite an education for both of us. Get it in the water, finally get it running, and it runs and I'm doing circles around the boat and then it's dying. So it'll run now perfectly for 20 to 30 to 60 seconds and then it just suddenly fuel, fuel chokes out and dies. It starts right up right away almost every time often without even the choke open. So we went from a completely dead engine all day that wouldn't even like spark a single time, it wouldn't even like combust a single time all day with a million things that shouldn't be wrong went wrong and then this failed and that failed and then we fixed that and then we fixed that and then this went bad and then that went bad. So we're making progress. I'm starting to dislike my pink dinghy engine. Like it's starting to really upset me. But we're so close, like it runs for 30 seconds at a time now. We're getting better. We just have no idea what the hell to do next.